welcome to episode four of Inside the Box, a look at content developers for Reillusion's iClone software. And today we are going to be looking at QTE or Quantum Theory Entertainment. They are an elite developer with Reillusion and we're going to specifically be looking at their terrains and cloud bundle today. You can see the actual pack uh, here for the review and it consists of three different terrains as well as some cloud models. There's a rocky terrain, desert terrain and alpine terrain. So we're going to take a look inside the box and give you a bird's eye view of what you can expect with the package as well as we'll do some renders of the different uh, scenes that are available for you. So when you install the actual terrain packs load in two different parts, you can have complete project files. As you see here, we have the Alpine terrain pack has six individual actual projects that you can load. The Rocky Hills terrain has actually 10 different ones. And when you look at the desert terrain pack, it also has 10 different project files. So I'm gonna start with the Alpine terrain pack. You load up the project file, as you can see, really good for some nice establishing shots if you're looking for that kind of grandiose, epic sort of uh, look to a scene. You can fill it out and again the project file already comes preloaded with a sky backdrop as you can see there and one of the, the terrains themselves. Now the other area where the props are located is in your set and props tag or tab. You can also see the individual terrains as props in the actual pack itself. So you can see the six different terrain models that you can then add to your scene. So if you wanted to bring them in to increase what you're basically doing with the, uh, with the actual props, you can then take these additional terrains, slide them around, um, manipulate them into your scene. So that way you can create even a, uh, a bigger um, more epic sort of look with your with your model requirements and really the sky's the limit from that configuration you can adjust them to you know different heights different widths whatever you want to do with it um, to round out your your set so you can see obviously they're just throwing some things together into the scene to kind of get a uh, a feel for a bigger um, prop set and again you can make a whole entire mountain range if you so chose uh, to do that with the actual props themselves so let me go back to the uh, project files and as you see we'll just load up another one and these are all the individual different uh, projects that you can see the different shapes of the uh, the mountains that one's more of a volcano one and again sky's the limit really as far as how you wanted to configure these. Desert Terrain Pack, same concept. It has also a, a, a flatland one. If you wanted to uh, then take and install your own uh, terrains onto it, again, you can just drag and drop them on and manipulate them around as needed to create whatever look you're really going for um, from a, uh, a, a standpoint of shooting the, the actual uh, scene itself so pretty versatile from that standpoint I'll just go back to the project file itself same thing you can load 10 different uh, project files and you can see as they load here how they would uh, they would work quite well for you know your epic establishing kind of shots from a um, a big big camera flyby sort of scenario if that was something that you were so inclined to do and the third one is the Rocky Hills Terrain. Again, same exact thing. You can look and see the uh, six different, uh, sorry, there's 10 actual different configurations in this particular 
project settings and of course the individual uh, rock outcroppings for the Rocky Hills terrain is located as well in the props section and through that you can again add different component pieces to it as you choose and uh, if you like to configure it and manipulate it and build it out in whatever capacity you feel is warranted so overall really really good uh, for the high level uh, flybys obviously these are these are more designed as bigger um, bigger terrain sets so they're not really ideal for your close-up uh, scenarios for that you're better doing a, a cutaway do a camera break um, you can obviously if you uh, would like and get in closer and you wanted to adjust the uh, bump maps and whatnot you could also uh, do that with a uh, close-up by you know taking it out and tiling it so that that way it creates a uh, you know a, a tighter version of it the um, the materials themselves aren't actual tiles uh, for the most part though so when you are doing that again you will want to uh, to take the actual uh, material out and and create it turn it into a tileable sort of uh, version if you want to do it for close-ups but again these are designed as a more of a long shot establishing type shot for the uh, the kind of more of an epic sort of uh, view of the the rocks themselves and uh, me I'm partial to the alpine pack I happen to like that you know that kind of mountain range type uh, type look you know cold desolate so if you have need of it it's uh, it's there for you and it works quite well for those uh, for those scenes so uh, job well done overall they retail individually you can purchase the uh, the packs individually as you see here 1995 a piece uh, which is uh, a decent value at 20 bucks you know 20 bucks doesn't buy you McDonald's it seems these days so overall a, a decent uh, decent value and if you're purchasing them all as a pack you do have the 3d clouds as well in the bundle for a total of uh, of eighty dollars seventy nine ninety five and the three d model pack retails alone at twenty nine ninety five for the three d clouds and I'm going to show you a little bit about those as well now, which uh, I happen to like this cloud pack it's uh, it's a nice way to round out a scene or your standard uh, to take some take your standard sky and dress it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to load the, the props. The clouds themselves are located in your props tab and you can find them under the 3D cloud model pack. And as you can see here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different um, clouds. Now, one thing that it bears uh, note, and you can see I've loaded one of them onto the stage here, they are volumetric, which is a good thing. So they have some depth. They're not just a, a flat plane. So when you are positioning them on your stage, they do have some, uh, some depth to them, but you want to try to keep them facing the, the camera when you're doing your uh, shot, because as you can see, they, they are volumetric from that standpoint. So you have that, uh, that little bit of puff. The textures on them are excellent. I'm gonna load a few up, uh, just a few up, so you can kind of see the, the, uh, the differences in them. And as you, uh, you load the different ones into your scene, obviously you can play around as much as needed um, with your, your brightness on the actual textures um, or uh, your saturation and obviously the opacity itself as well. If you want it a little more translucent, you can, uh, you can certainly do that. I find that in existing scenes, sometimes turning on the, the self-illumination itself is a... Uh, is worthwhile um, for the uh, clouds themselves but again you can uh, you can play with it as you see fit but you go through this pack and you can really see the uh, the high level of of quality in the models themselves and again like I said they're all volumetric in that they're not just a 
total flat plane. They do have some some texture to them. So you can see how stacking the uh, the different cloud formations and stuff could be useful. You can create uh, different looks with a uh, with a sky as opposed to just typically having you know your standard backgrounds uh, that you would normally have. You can add these in and uh, and improve on it. And again, work on the uh, with some different blending of the the textures themselves, different opacities to match it up. Because obviously in your background you'll want to match it uh, more in terms of color and, and whatnot with the background uh, that you have in there. So again, this pack itself I think is very handy. The, the textures are wonderful in them. The opacity maps are good. They're nice and crisp, good sharp, uh, good sharp lines on the actual opacity so that you don't have, you know, the, uh, the, the bleeding and on the edges and whatnot. So you have a very nice, strong, uh, wispy cloud if you so choose. So again, retails for $79.95, I think, as a whole pack. Overall, not really a lot to complain about in this pack. Um, obviously, you'd have to have a need for it. I, I, I like the, the cloud pack. If uh, you're not uh, into, you know, the epic terrain type uh, look, then you might not have uh, find a need for the terrains themselves. But I like to have a options available when I'm building out a scene. So um, to me, it's, uh, it's always nice to have different props and sets that you can utilize and swap in and out so hope you enjoyed the uh, the episode and uh, we'll be back next week when we'll also be still talking on qte quantum theory entertainment and next week we'll be discussing the urban construction pack so until then have yourself a great day and thanks for watching